Hey, all you viewers of the name later, how are we doing today? Man, we got something so new, 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 new by Gerber in 2021. It's not even out there on like Blade HQ or Amazon yet. Today, we're going to take a look at the black, well, black version of the Zilch. Now, I do love these boxes by Gerber. I'm really, really glad they went to these over those clamshell things. Simply because I love it when you open it up. There's a little note always right in there. I do like the topographic map, like little display thing they have that your blade comes hooked on. And there's just your warranty info. All right. So here it is in all of its glory. I really like the look of it with the black on the stonewash finish. I thought that was kind of classic. I really love the oversized look of the lanyard hole. And the back with that spine, I went, oh, yeah. Reminds me of a really bad monster movie where it's like, ah, cut the blade, cut the blade, cut the cord, cut the paracord. But still, also with its price point, if you are looking at getting somebody an everyday carry blade that if something breaks, if they lose or do whatever, this is a great one because of the price point. Felt great in the hand. I do like the two ways to open it, but we're going to get into all that here right now. It's got an overall length of about 7.25 inches. The blade is 3.125 with a cutting surface of about a flat 3. Closed, it's 4.125 inches with a very, very minor weight of 2.20 inches. It's going to be 2.20 pounds inches. Listen to me. I need caffeine. <laughs> This is done in the drop point style with a very plain edge and a flat grind. The blade steel is very, very budget friendly at 7CR 17 MOV. For the price point, I get it. They didn't want to make you break the bank. It's an easy collectible one. It's easy to everyday carry. Something happens, no biggie. Like I said, we do have the stonewash finish, which is easily one of my most favorite finishes on a blade, period. The scales are glass reinforced nylon, and like I said, that spine on the back, I really like how they did that. I just thought that was really, really cool. I also love the crisscross pattern in there. It just gives you a little bit more of a purchase when you're holding the blade. That way things might go a little bit better for you. Now, we do have a stainless steel frame in there. Sorry, I'm going to start bringing flashlights, but there is a stainless steel frame in there. We do have a liner lock, as you can see. I like the fact that they really didn't make it massively exposed on both sides. As you can see, it is on one, but it's not um, ridged, so it's not really going to create a hot spot for you possibility. Now, we do have two ways to open this guy. We do have the dual thumb studs and the nail nick that's right there. Both of them open up really seriously buttery smooth. There's only one way to carry this, even though Blade HQ says two. There's only one way. I don't see any other mounting screws over here. So it's right hand carry tip up. I know it's a deal breaker for some of you, but hey. Like I said, we do have a very oversized lanyard hole here. So it's going to be easy to get full size 550 paracord through it. And it is, of course, with the lower end model made in China. Now let's have a little bit of fun, okay? We got all the stats out the way. Let's do some cut tests. Now we usually only do three. And if you're curious why I'm doing these three, take a look right up top. You're going to see a card for why I do these cut tests. And as we usually start off, heavy duty stock paper. Yeah, yeah, pushing a little. Still cutting, no problem, but let's see if we can get a curly cue. Uh, I went in too low. All right, let's try one more time. Oh, heck with it. All right. One of the big reasons I try to get those curly cues, guys, is anyone, like if you've watched my channel, you're going to know, can you just grab a blade and go, sharp. But if you take it and you drag it consistently on that same angle and you go really, really, really slow, something like that should happen. Where the paper starts to curl back into itself, that's showing you there's really no chips, pits, tears, micro abrasions, any of that weird stuff. I see a little bit of snowfall on the blade, but no big deal. Okay. Uh, paracord. Like I said in a video I filmed a moment ago, I think I've only got about 10 feet left of this batch, and I cannot wait till it's gone. No, I will not throw it out, because waste not, want not. And I teach my kids, you bought it, you don't break it, you don't waste it, you use it for all its value. Uh, pull test. Ah. 
A lot of effort, semi-clean cut. Oh, I hate that paracord. I can't wait till that patch is gone. All right, slice test. Not bad, but as you can see by how that paracord's kind of frayed and whatnot, probably needs some touching up here. Went through it, but I just don't like the raggedy way it looks. Now, the star of the channel, the man of the hour, the tower of power, Mr. Ratchet Strap. And yes, for those of you out there wondering, I have yet to be served with a restraining arm, Mr. Ratchet Strap. But hey, let's have a little fun. That sounded like it kind of ripped to me or tore. So let me try that again. I don't know if you guys picked up on it. It didn't sound like it usually does. Yeah. Either it's going through that thing buttery smooth or I don't know. I don't even want to look into it anymore. As we usually do, we take a look at the blade. I don't see any issues. No rolls, chips, glints, anything like that. Okay. So like I said, this thing is so brand new, it's not even listed on two of the usual spots. Now, I did all my homework and all the fun stuff on this guy on 72121. I am currently filming this video on 72221. So it's like the day after. All right, can't find it on Amazon. Blade HQ says coming soon. And on Gerber, I think they had multiple colors of this one, but the only one that was in stock was the black. All of them are 21 bucks. They have yet to be reviewed anywhere online as of filming this video. So, with that being said, we are at my most favorite part of the video. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. I also want to know, do you think the zilch is a nice or an F-bomb? Nice or an F-bomb? I get it, okay? It's a $20 blade. You're not going to expect to go out bushcrafting with it. Letter opener, daily carry, should serve that purpose quite well. But with that fun stuff being said, for you first time viewers on my channel, I just want to say, hey, thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know you have lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very, very grateful that you're choosing my channel. <coughs> now, for you first time viewers and you long time viewers who have yet to subscribe, why don't you leave me a comment right down below what I can do to earn your subscription. You never know how your suggestion may change the course of the history of this channel. After you've done all that fun stuff in just a moment or two, right down here, you're going to see a big channel symbol pop it up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and destroyed that subscribe button, please, if you so choose, destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because that will let YouTube notify you every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much on YouTube, two will be popping up right over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my current catalog that they feel is going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the Gerber Zilch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a great day, a safe day, and I will see all of you in our very next video.